Hi Technica, welcome back again to another video. So today in this video, I'm going to talk about a very requested uh, question or a topic that's been asked from most of the viewers. So if you are a viewer who are watching out this video, who are doing any masters in zoology or any specializations in zoology, and if you're finding what career do I have to choose, then this video is definitely going to be for you. So watch out the video completely and I'll be explaining you about all the career aspects and what's going to be the scope of zoology very specifically in the near days. So let's talk about in detail. So let's talk about the scope of zoology, career aspects or career options. Suppose if you are someone who are thinking what do I have to do after MSc in zoology or if you are pursuing MSc in zoology then this video is definitely going to help you. So I'll be talking about the specialization in zoology. If you are doing uh, MSc in general zoology or marine zoology or marine biology or animal behavior or neurobiology or ecology or evolutionary biology and there are many many more specializations in case of zoology then you can definitely look around for all these options that I'll be talking about. The next important thing is what is the scope of zoology. Everybody knows zoology has a lot of correlation with most of the life science that we talk about. So you can get a job in private sectors, you can get a job in government sectors or even you can get a job in the overseas or we can say abroad. So suppose if you want to go and join in any of the private sectors, then you can go in for Achiever Spot, J. Richards Foundation, GPC Regulatory India. So these are some of the private sectors that give a lot of opportunities for people who have completed MSc in zoology or even for people who have completed BSc in zoology also. So in Achiever Spot, you can join as a medical coding specialist and you would be exactly getting a salary per annum of about uh, 3 lakhs and if you're going to join J Research Foundation as a junior research fellow or junior research officer you'll be having a Indian rupee of 3.4 lakhs per annum and about GPC Regulatory India Private Limited you can join as eco toxicologist with an annual sal salary of rupees 4 lakhs so these are some of the jobs that you can fetch in private sectors okay now you might be ambiguous of knowing what about government sectors yes so in government sectors there are a lot of opportunity I'll be talking about I'm going to list out few of the opportunity that you can actually avail the first is the wildlife institute of India everybody knows about it and you can join as a project scientist yes you can join initially as a JRF everybody knows after completing your MSc you can become a JRF and then you can finish your PhD and then you can join in any of the centers very specifically in the government sector as a scientist so you can start as a project scientist the average salary is approximately we can say Indian rupee of 5.6 lakh per annum and what about zoological survey of India this is one of the ma major uh, prestigious uh, place that we can work so here you can join as a JRF after completing your uh, examination whether it's ICMR or your DBT or your CSAR net examination you can join as a, a JRF along with a salary of 3.7 um, lakh per annum and National Institution of Oceanography suppose if you are doing marine biology very specifically marine zoology then you can go for National Institute of Oceanography so you can be placed initially as a project assistant and then a junior project associate and then a senior project associate with a salary of about uh, 5 lakhs per annum. So these are some of the lists that I have listed here. We'll be talking many more about the opportunities for zoology. So suppose if you are someone who wanted to uh, do a job in any part of the world or overseas or abroad, then you can definitely go for it. The first is veterinarians. Definitely this is growing massively these days. You can find whether it is in India or even in overseas. This is a wonderful field. And the next one is sustainability officer and zoo educator in zoological park. You can actually talk about the animals and conservation scientist. Also you can become this is more predominantly seen in case of um, we can say abroad you can see and wildlife rehabilitator you can become. And I, as I already told you marine biologist or marine zoology or marine marine uh, biology if you're studying then you can also become a marine biologist and medical technologist yes of course if you know zoology you can uh, become a medical technologist and wildlife biologist you can also do uh, research in wildlife conservation activities 
and definitely it's related with environmental so you can also become an environmental scientist and most prob probably if we have to talk about overseas recruits a lot of scientific writers and technical writers so you can also land up suppose if you're not interested in any of these things if you really like writing then you can land up in scientific and technical writers so you have an opportunity in private sector government sector as well as in overseas yes what about the career aspect what are the jobs do i get commonly in everywhere like whether it is in india whether it is abroad or wherever it is what's the common thing that you can actually go for definitely as i mentioned previously you can become a veterinarian and academic researcher suppose if i have to talk about academic researchers uh, very specially you can join as a phd scholar and then a postdoctoral position in india or exactly abroad also and you can become a academic teacher yes you can actually become a professor in a college after studying your msc in zoology then you You have to clear your CSAR Net LS and join as a PhD holder and finish your PhD, and then you can join a college or a university. Very specialized in case of zoology, and there are a lot of companies which started recruiting candidates, and there are a lot of industries which are actually available. And as I mentioned earlier, scientific writers are more predominantly seen in case of abroad, and scientific writing is also seen in case of India. an animal nutritionist yes so nutritional biology if we have or nutritional science if we have to talk about it is uh, a vast field nowadays like food science and nutritional ones so animal nutritionist is another important thing because there's going to be a less competition when you compare it with the other one and as i already mentioned marine biologist and environmental consultant definitely ecologist if you're someone who loves nature then you can definitely become a ecologist and media sector suppose if someone who likes to be involved in media so national geography or any of these things then you can go for this media sector also if you're going to uh, finish off your msc in zoology the next one is wildlife con conservationist and you can work in any of the national parks or wildlife sanctuary as with wildlife conservationist or anything and the next thing is forensic expert yes after finishing your msc in zoology you can actually enter into forensic field also you in india they started conducting examinations for becoming a forensic expert so you can actually go in for this and even you can pursue or uh, start your uh, career as a clinical business associate this is also been available and as we already mentioned animal care tech cause and rehabilitators are also available or you can become a zoology project associate or research associate and there are people who would be involved or likely to do uh, documentary so you can also become a documentary maker uh, if you wanted to uh, enter into any fields like this or you can become a medical representative and as i already mentioned animal nutritionist you can become or nutrition specialist also you can become and of course you can also become a research scientist so you have lot of opportunities so make sure you understand what really makes you enjoyable and what passion you have for after completing your zoology then you can take up this and what are the organizations that you can join yes there are a lot of opportunities there are a lot of designations that you have that you can go for it but which are the organization that you can actually go and apply for so center for science and environment you can go for it and wildlife information liaison development you can go for and regional resource center of ministry of environmental and forest wildlife and dr salim ali school of ecology this is for people who loves nature and wanted to become a ecologist then you can definitely go for it indian tiger welfare society and of course as i mentioned earlier wildlife trust of india and this is bombay natural history society you can go for it and protection society of india and central zoo authority so you can go for all these things so make sure you are knowing these organization and you can go to their website and look in for the notification when any notification is applicable for your uh, qualification then you can start applying for these organizations so you have tremendous opportunity but the most important thing is you need to know what you really wanted to become that's the most important thing the next is who are top recruiters 
so who actually uh, recruits uh, msc zoology candidates if i have to sum up uh, central uh, institutes central inland fisheries research institute yes you can go for fisheries aquarium things central marine yes if you are from marine zoology or marine biology then you can go for the central these are government jobs central marine fisheries research institute and forest department of state you can go for ministry of environment and forest also provides a lot of opportunity you can go to ministry of environment and forest and if you type in the google you will be getting all the notification what are the uh, upcoming uh, opportunities that is available you can go to the careers and look around the options next is environmental and ecosystem management sector of course you can go for animal clinics like veterinarians you can go for it or you can also start up as uh, clinical uh, associates and conservation and agencies and many colleges and universities if it's very specifically going to be any kind of uh, research or i can say any academic professions then you can go for these things so these are some of the top recruiters that they are actually uh, recruiting uh, these many students so suppose if i have to talk about some people or some student who really wanted to do a job abroad then they might be puzzled which uh, country do i have to choose for and or what will be the job opportunity that will be available as i already mentioned before the scope in zoology very specifically in overseas you can choose any one of these designation any one like scientific writer or medical technologist or a veterinarian anything you can choose and then you can go and look for which country you are passionate about you wanted to actually work whether it's in south africa usually if you go for south africa you can actually get a lot of job when it comes to zoology so south africa definitely australia united kingdom canada new zealand yes of course canada new zealand sweden and india so if you wanted to go for some top companies or top countries which actually offers jobs for msc in zoology then you can pick any one of these things very specifically i would be talking about this uh, south africa and australia because south africa and australia actually has a lot of uh, wildlife jobs which are available so suppose if you're one among them who wanted to go for overseas and work in this field then definitely you can take up this option okay now next the question is suppose how if i take any one of these career then what would be my salary that's the most important thing so the main important thing for any jobs i would say is it's based on the experience initially you'll be starting as a fresher with a very less salary not very less salary a normal salary and as you get experience definitely you're going to get it and very important what is going to be the field of specialization what field and definitely they'll talk about your skills suppose if you have the skills knowledge along with that and definitely whatever salary i'm going to tell you if you have a very good skill you can earn more than this one but this is the average salary that usually you will be getting in india so this is for freshers if i have to talk for freshers initially it will be 3.5 lakhs per annum for freshers and if it's going to be for experts or after having experience you will be having some 10 lakh uh, per annum so this is mainly based on the experience or the skills that you have and as well as the profile so if i have to summarize all these things in detail i would say Uh, you have many opportunities as a zoology candidate you have lots of opportunity but you need to know what you wanted to become whether you wanted to become a researcher then definitely you can go for any of the competitive examinations and become a phd holder or if you want to go for any academic stream then you can go for it or if you want to enter into any of the wildlife um any kind of things then you can go for those things or if you want to go very specifically to overseas then you can go for it but before entering into any of these things i would suggest is first understand uh, which designation you really wanted to land up and then talk about which institute you want to go for. go for and check in for the notification in the career site and if you find it is appropriate and if you feel it's passionate uh for you then you can definitely go in for this one so it's not like what you are actually learning it's what you actually love to do so whatever you love to do it in a day you won't feel that you're working every day so make sure you are loving your job after your msc in zoology so choose wisely so we are ready to help you at any point of time so i believe that this video is helpful for those who are watching out this video thank you so much for joining and i'm going to meet you back again with a wonderful useful video for all of you Thank you so much for joining and I'm going to meet you back again.